What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Extravagant Fragrances. So, tonight I want to uh, share a little uh, pointer or tip with you on how you can uh, start making money uh, selling body oils in your ride share. Okay, uh, I won't go into into specifics about which ride share. There, there, there are more than two out there. Okay, um, but um, just a couple proven techniques. Uh, on how to sell body oils in your ride share and um, that is to just simply display the fragrance body oils in your ride share okay uh, a couple things that I have uh, heard that were proven to work is uh, if you actually for example get one of the slings okay uh, right here all right. Now this is about this holds about 50 body oils. Okay, uh, you can put the one thirds in there. You can put the one eighths in there. And basically, what you do is you fill this up uh, with however many oils your top sellers, and you just lay it across the back of your seat. Okay, you could do one of them. You could do two of them. Doesn't really matter. Um, that's one thing you could do. You could just just lay it there. And what's going to happen is. Um, this right here, the body, the body oil sling here, it just, it really pops. Okay. Uh, a lot of people, when they see this, they're wondering, what is that? Uh, right. And it really, it, it brings up a lot of questions. Um, so that's a great conversation starter right there. Another thing you can do is I know I keep talking about these little tiny racks, but there's a reason for that. Um, and that's because they're just very useful. Um, they're very much you know the type of thing you could take when you're on the go it doesn't take up a lot of space that's the 25 count um, body oil rack uh, for the one-third plain roll-ons okay and um, what you could do is get yourself some of the uh, 3m velcro uh, the double-sided I guess you could say double-sided velcro and uh, stick some of it on your dashboard right where the passenger sits and then put the stick, the other sticky part, the little strips, the Velcro strips along this side, and just stick it there, okay? <laughs> and uh, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Actually, what's going to end up happening is you're going to find that your passenger is going to see that, and they're going to ask questions. Um, nine times out of ten, they're going to start asking questions. What is that? And that is when you open up, okay? Now, I know in... Um, and a lot of ride shares, you know, you're not allowed to solicit the customer and all this stuff, and you're not. Um, but when they start to ask questions, what is this? What is that? Then, hey, it's uh, your property in your car, okay? Um, you know, if you have an advertisement sign up in your vehicle, that's you're right. You're allowed to do that, uh, as far as I know, okay? Um, and that's when, you know, when they start to ask questions, that's when you open up and you share with them and if they're interested you know you could say something like hey well you know if you want to smell them go ahead what's going to end up happening is they'll sniff through them they'll smell them and they'll and then that right there is once you get them smelling it i mean that is i like to call that the ownership clothes because with fragrance um smelling in my opinion is partly owning the fragrance you actually you got a piece of that fragrance in my opinion you've actually captivated a piece of that you smelled it um, and so you've taken a piece of it already it's like it's like baking a cake or a pie and saying here have a taste of that right um, to me I don't see it any different with fragrance once a person smells the fragrance and that fragrance captivates captivates the nose um, they've gotten a piece of it and I like to call that the ownership clothes once a person smells through your top uh, hitting fragrances to me I don't think there's any reason why at that point they wouldn't want to commit to making a purchase okay uh, and at that point you know if you carry you know a card swiper or if you take cash whatever um, I've personally had rideshare drivers come to me and purchase wholesale kits uh, because um, they felt that they were able to sell body oils along the way and why wouldn't you want to utilize that time while you're on the road to uh, build an another business, another stream of income. Um, you know, another thing that you could do is, you know, at that point, you know, once the person makes 
once you make that sale, always, always, always collect the phone number, collect the name, collect an email address. Why? Because that is a lead. I, I, I mentioned this in some of the other videos where, you know, some vendors, uh, whether it be a flea market vendor or a street, market, uh, a street vendor, um, you know, if you're selling your merchandise, you know, you want to be collecting emails. Um, companies pay a lot just for emails. Um, you know, why, why waste that time just selling a product one time and then not being able to captivate that customer? Because like I said, if they like the product and they want to come back, um, I've personally had customers say, man, I'm really glad that you reached out to me because um, I was trying to remember the name of your website, <laughs> right? And so that's why email addresses are very important, important and that's why phone numbers are very important. So. Um, again, if you're trying to sell in your ride share, start selling body oils, those are two techniques right here. The sling, throw it right over the back of your seat, and the 25 count uh, wooden rack right there. So uh, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, um, comment down below, send me an email, like, subscribe, and share when you get a chance. Take care.